Hey guys, Kid Gear here from Megabyte TV and the Tech World channel. And today I'm doing a overview, a software overview of Newsgator's new Feed Demon 3.0. Uh, I'm using the actual beta 4 version. Um, and uh, what it is, it's an RSS uh, client or uh, RSS desktop reader. What's RSS? RSS is really simple syndication. Basically, any blog you go to, you can sign up via RSS to get all your blog updates, any you know, sales updates on like st sites like Woot.com, that's W-O-O-T, Woot.com for like, you know, the latest new sales. You can get those all in one, you know, RSS um, feed. And, um, you know, there's many ways you can do it. There's stuff like I've used Feed Reader, that's another application. I've used Google Reader, which I previously previously used. It's an online version, so it's an online reader. And I really did like Google Reader. It's a really nice interface, really easy to use, a lot of cool features. Um, but I wanted something that runs on the desktop nice and seamless, seamlessly, and something that integrates with Google Reader. And uh, with the new Beta 4 version, they actually added that feature, so it integrates with Google Reader, it synchronizes, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, you get the best of both worlds, and I couldn't resist, but, you know, download Feed Demon. So here's the interface, um, and it sh uh, this is the main tab showing all your subscriptions, and it shows basically a, a mix of, uh, you know, posts from different uh, feeds, like your, tw I have my make use of dot com feed here I have Mashable I have CNET news feed all in this one subscriptions pane to my right I have the feeds I pay most attention to it shows me here and shows my number one is um, make use of dot com I read most of my stories there and shows all my unread items I can search search subscriptions run a cleanup wizard work offline if you know I know that my internet's gonna be down or something and show dinosaurs which I don't know what that is so maybe you should check that out And it shows here that di oh okay so dinosaurs are feeds that haven't been updated in 60 days so basically any old any old feed uh, so yeah okay so base um, the whole feed demon right here this inner window is based off a web browser and like when I was if I was to click on a certain feed and go into a story now you can do a quick view of the story or you can do like a actual full on uh, you know go to the website it's all based off the internet uh, a and Internet Explorer version. I think it's Internet Explorer 7 or 6. I'm not sure. The interface just looks a little bit different. Um, so it has tab browsing. So if you want to do that. So it is um, pretty, you know, it's kind of different. Just, okay, so it looks like it's based off Internet Explorer 7 here. But, you know, you have your address bars. You can search, stuff like that. Really cool, um, you know, straightforward. Now, if you go into the actual browse section and go to show an external browser, external browser, you can get your feeds to show in, you know, Firefox or something like that if you would prefer that. Okay, so to your left, you have this pane here that shows all your feeds, um, miscellaneous blogs. I have I have online shopping, so my Woot, uh, you know, daily deals for each day. Um, so it shows yesterday, today, Thursday, stuff like that. And it shows a little picture of, you know, uh, whatever the blog post has a picture of. Now, you can do a quick view if you just click this down arrow. It shows a quick view of the post, and, you know, not too many images loaded, and pretty, basically one image and then text. And here I have, you can toggle the flag, you know, maybe if you didn't finish reading it or something like that. You can email the post. You can toggle it as read or unread, and that, you know, messes with your counters. You can share it, so you can add it to the shared clippings, which would go into something like my Google Reader shared options. Uh, you can also share with it, so you can add a note, so you can say share it, and then you can, you know, add a note to it, like, really cool product or anything like that. You can add tags to it if you need to, and you can check out, you know, when it was posted and the author and stuff like that. Okay. Um, now, if you just want to mark all your feeds read, you know, if you're, you know, you're overloaded, or if you maybe you've already read these stories or heard them somewhere else, you can actually just mark the whole page as read, just clicking this button will mark them all, all the deals as read. So I'm just going to click it, and they all become read, and all the counter goes away. Okay, so my main tab here is my tech news tab, and you can add a whole bunch of stuff in here. So, uh, you know, you can sort out by folders, however you want to do it. And you can even subscribe within here. It's really easy to subscribe. So if I was to hit Control N or just hit New Subscription, just let, and it's gonna ask you to enter your URL in that you want to subscribe to. And I actually have a site open here at TigerDirect.com for the latest daily deals. So I'm just gonna click Main, or actually I think I'm already on. No, I'm not. I'm gonna click right here, Main Email Deals, because that's something I'm interested in. I'm just gonna click that. It's gonna load the RSS link in here. And I'm just going to copy this link. Now, you can actually subscribe to this feed and click down. And I think it sh Firefox should re recognize the application. Or you can hit Choose Application. Or you can just take this link, hit Control-C, take it into Feed Demon, and paste it in. 
and um, I just don't need to do that right now. And then I'm going to put it in the actual online sales next. It's really easy just to, you know, navigate through this whole process. Oh, but, oh sorry, I should enter a title for the feed first. So I'm going to name it uh, Tiger Direct Main Deals. Sorry, I spelled main wrong there. Main Deals, hit next, and hit finish. And it's going to simply add that into my online shopping, and it's going to load all the feeds. Now, I think it checks, uh, by default, it checks every, like, 30 minutes. If you go into Tools, uh, Options, you can mess around with stuff like that. You can mess around with confirmations. You can uh, mess around how it would work if you subscribe to something like a podcast, um, how it updates you. So, you know, stuff like that, desktop alert, which would be when it's minimized, it goes into the system train every 30 minutes. It checks to see if there's a new feed and will alert you. And you can mess around with the uh, appearance too. So it's really, really customizable, guys. You can really go into those options and check it out. Also, what the cool thing is, if you want to hit the panic button, basically, if you have an overload of feeds, the panic button helps you clear out all your feeds and you know, checks for all these old feeds or anything like that, and it'll make them red. So that way, you don't feel all that clutter if you're the type of person who really wants to get all your feeds down to zero. Um, you can test your connection, manage tags, mess with a whole bunch of stuff here, feed station. Um, internet options and synchronize options if you choose to use with Google Reader, which I do. Uh, you can check out the keyboard shortcuts and set some new ones if you want. And you can add favorites just like in uh, Internet Explorer and any other browser or stuff like that. Um, if you go into f uh, file here, you can import feeds or export feeds. So if you want to export it for another, you know, desktop reader or anything like that. Or if you want to import, uh, I think it's, I want to say it's .xml files. I'm not sure what the feed files are. Maybe it's .xml if you have like a whole feed file you can import those uh, make new folders add new subscriptions and of course work offline if you need to do that so guys feed demon really really cool um, really really nice interface more like a newspaper interface and you can of course move all these tabs around make you know that bigger make you know maximize it for your reading space really cool RSS desktop client reader uh, hope you guys check it out feed demon I'll leave the link in the video description to the right um, it's free you just get this little ad in the corner here nothing too bad other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed Feed Demon, uh, and you can, you know, of course, subscribe to blogs, subscribe to YouTube channels, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel via RSS, and, you know, get my video updates as they come in. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's tons of more features that are in this thing that I have even touched, so you guys can explore Feed Demon, um, try out the new beta if you want, the one I'm using, or just use a solid, you know, new release version. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and download link will be in the video description to the right. Thanks for listening, guys. Catch you next video.